Mojo Spotlight. Alright, welcome to the Causal Spotlight number 13. I'm Stigi. And I'm Poli. And this time we're gonna have a look at South Park's Stick of Truth. Welcome to the kingdom of Koopa Keep. Okay, this is the sixth game of the franchise, of the South Park franchise, and it's the best game of the games that came out so far. Yeah, obviously, because the ones that came out before it weren't, well, not blockbusters. There were some that were actually fun. Yeah, the, uh, the tower defense game on Xbox Live Arcade was pretty good for that kind of yeah. game, but, well, the rest was average let's say average you can see a video about this about all the old titles uh, right here on the causal channel and there's also an article if you're interested in the past of South Park video games no problem but now we're going to talk about the RPG made by um, Obsidian Entertainment yeah, yeah. who uh, some of you <coughs> will already know uh, from their work on uh, KOTOR 2 and Fallout New Vegas and uh, Alpha Protocol and so, um, I think they also worked on Neverwinter Nights too. So uh, yep. they uh, have uh, lots of experience in RPGs. Mm -hmm. and, and this time they even had enough time. For example, in Quarter 2, they didn't have enough time. So the game came out unfinished and yeah. the fans had to finish it. Today you can play it with a mod and it's perfect. But um, the original version that came out, it was they just didn't have enough time. But now Ubisoft, the new publisher that came after THQ, THQ went down, yeah. so Ubisoft bought the rights and now um, they had enough time because it's delayed for several times. Yeah, they are working on it since 2011, I think. Mm -hmm. I think it was yeah. announced in 2011. And the story really is that the South Park guys, Trey Parker and Matt Stone, they really wanted to have a game that looks exactly like the series, yeah. as if you're playing an episode of the series. Uh, so they went to Obsidian and asked them, can you do that? And obviously they can do that. <laughs> and so, yeah, um, yeah that's uh, the story. And they, they wrote the script, of course, they did the voice acting and uh, everything they normally do for an episode, they did here too. So uh, for the fans, it's uh, just awesome. Yeah, it absolutely feels <coughs> like, uh, like uh, you're playing actually an episode of the series. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about the game itself. It's an RPG that is compared to Final Fantasy very often, but it doesn't make too much sense because it's a game that's much more like this game, and this is Mario Party. No, Paper Mario. Paper Mario, yeah. <laughs> Mario Party is the one that's like Chef's Love Shack, the old title by Acclaim. No, this one is like... Paper Mario. On so it's actually the second Mario title they got inspired by for, for no, South Park. No, the game. third. There was uh, South Park Rally that was inspired by Mario Kart. Oh, okay. Yeah, I totally forgot about that one. <laughs> so this time it's a uh, kind of Paper Mario because of the battle system. Mm -hmm. The combat system needs some uh, reactions. For example, this jump attack. You had to pull up the stick when to jump and you have to pull it down yeah. when you're at the right moment, you know, and at your highest spot you pull it down, so you get more damage. And Yeah, so although it's a classic turn-based fighting system, you will still have those elements that are about timing to actually increase yeah. the power of your attacks. Yeah, just like, like that. Paper Mario, as yeah. you see in the great casual game comparison. And that uh, totally makes it more fun, I guess. Mm. So the story continues after the end of the last season, the 17th season. And um, there the guys play the new consoles, uh, Xbox One and PS4, whatever. Yeah. And um, <coughs> they find out, well, it looks a bit better, but not too good. And maybe it's more interesting to play with a stick outside yeah. than playing <laughs> video games. And that's exactly the moment when they say, OK, our video game will come out soon. So that was really awesome. The timing of that was uh, just great. And um, now uh, they're playing Lord of the Rings again with the stick of truth. Uh, Lord of the Rings, they already played it in that episode where uh, Butters tries to protect this porno video yeah. where the rest of them <laughs> go to uh, bring it back and um, yeah, we find all the characters we love from the 
the serious. Yeah, so um, <coughs> the writers actually did a lot to really connect the story of the game to the series, so that um, you get even more out of it if you really know the series and all the episodes and mm -hmm. that stuff. I really love the idea that I can run through South Park. I already loved it in the Simpsons game, Simpsons the game and Simpsons Hit and Run, which was the GTA clone, yeah. where you also were able to run through Springfield. And it was awesome to find all the characters and all the jokes and everything. And <coughs> it's really interesting to be able to do that in South Park too now. And since it really looks exactly like the series, it's just awesome for a fan. Yeah, it's perfect for <coughs> fans to actually get even more into the special loved series and um, I think it's actually one of the best licensed games so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no doubt about that. One of the best series and one of the best licensed games. Yeah. So just awesome. You can create your own character there, but the character will never talk. So you have a Gordon Freeman like character, <laughs> so to say. And you're called douchebag all the time. So no matter what name you actually do. Yeah, you can <laughs> name him, but <laughs> you will be the douchebag. Yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, you can you create your old uh, appearance, of course, like in every RPG. And the big question is, I mean, this game comes out on 360, PS3 and PC via Steamworks. And will there be mods? You know, this is going to be pretty interesting because it's so easy to create new assets and everything there. Will yeah, it would be perfect if they would actually just add an editor like in Little Big Planet or something like that mm -hmm. and give the, the players some assets and to play around with. That would be pretty cool, but um, I don't think that they will do that. But no. um, hopefully the community will just uh, kind of hack the game and <laughs> create their own campaigns. Yeah. As long as they're funny, you know, it would be really awesome. Yeah. I'd love to tell <coughs> stories in the South Park universe. <laughs> Because there's everything is allowed there, you know, that's the total freedom that you have in South Park. But uh, whatever, so overall we can say this game is just awesome, especially for fans of the series and everybody should buy it now immediately and start playing it. Have fun with it. Yeah, and thanks for watching. Yeah.